Superheroes are dedicated to save the planet and protect the people. In this video, we are going to show you that most of the superheroes you fancy are actually not that heroic for our planet. Here is a ranking of 5 superheroes, from the most polluting to the super green one. Number 5 is by far the least green superhero of all times. We named Iron Man. My turn. So for starters, let's just have a look at Tony Stark's lifestyle. First of all, he works in the weapon industry, of which the huge carbon footprint is a major contribution to global warming. Just to picture this, the Iraq war released 250 to 600 million tons of CO2 since 2003. Besides, he lives in an 11,000 square meters house equipped with electronic devices, has three or four different cars, eats processed food and meat, flies in private jet and uses three different computers. A typical desktop uses about 65 to 250 watts per hour. You do the math and that's already too much. If you add all this up, you'd need at least seven planets if we all lived like Tony Stark. You could think it'd get better when he decides to shut down Stark Industry to turn full-time into the superhero job, but no, the CO2 he releases as Iron Man is shockingly high. His costume is made of iron, which is not biodegradable at all. When he flies it has to come with fire and all, just for swag. Whenever he fights he causes huge explosions. If he goes on like that, there won't be no more plan to save. That is bad, Tony. Number 4 on our list is Batman. It all started so well. As a child, Bruce Wayne loved to spend time in the greenhouse, hugging flowers and probably growing greens for the family. He even used public transportations. But his parents died and he screwed everything up, environmentally speaking. But let's talk about the Batmobile. This huge monster car that spits fire must consume at least as much gas as a big Hummer. Accurately, 350 grams of CO2 per passenger and kilometer. Then look at the Wayne's Manor, more than 42,000 square meters, a huge garden, a ballroom. That means a lot of energy to maintain Batman's mansion. Last but not least, he has critical pyromaniac tendencies. He even burned down an entire wooden house. Once again, lots of CO2 released to the atmosphere. On top of this, he uses chemical weapons and paints his costume with chemical and toxic paints. The atmosphere doesn't thank you for that, Bat. But let's cut him a break. After all, he did take a natural shower once. Number 3 on our list is Superman. Excuse me. This guy really had it all for himself. Born and raised in a small farm without much electronic devices. He's the only superhero using solar power for transportation, one of the most important solutions to the global warming crisis nowadays. I mean, absolutely no gas emissions when flying. But Superman doesn't seem to realize what advantages he has for our planet and causes huge explosions at every fight. He destroyed fields, buildings, factories, so basically an entire city. What's wrong with you, buddy? All this energy spent for nothing. And by the way, his way of revenge is really stupid and non-eco-friendly at all. Second place goes to our favorite mutant, Wolverine. AKA the almost green superhero. In a way, he has a really clean lifestyle as he says. Nature day. Clean living. And he's really connected to the nature. He lives in a modest house that doesn't consume a lot of energy. Wolverine is against flying in planes and has a very good argument for it. If we meant to fly, we'd grow wings. Plus his powers are natural and don't cause a big mess. The problem is he cuts trees for a living. Forest degradation contributes to 20% of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. 2 billion tons of carbon every year are due to deforestation, just saying. He also drives his car and motorcycle a lot. Lastly, when Wolverine has his usual nightmares, he tears all the sheets apart. Looks like we're gonna need new sheets again, baby. If we do the calculation, he wastes 13,000 liters of water per new pair of sheets. Nice try, Logan, but we found better than you. And the most eco-friendly superhero award goes to Spider-Man. Now, besides the fact that he is really into processed food with high carbon footprint means of production, Spider-Man is pretty much perfect regarding the environment. He moves by spider webs, which are natural and biodegradable, and when he is not wearing his costume, he uses his skateboard and some metal chains. And if he needs to go somewhere farther away, he'll go by public transportation. So sorry. Spider-Man is so connected to the nature, he doesn't even kill a bug. He even stopped an environmental disaster in the Hudson River. And although he eats junk food, he makes sure he always buys organic eggs for Aunt May. Eggs? 
Organic, got it. He's an amazing sweet boy, isn't he? One thing you are, it's good. Now that you've seen this video, next time you'll watch your favorite superhero saving the planet, ask yourself if he's actually doing the planet a favor.